heart of Moscow. At least 37 people have died. Dozens have been injured in two explosions on the city's underground. These are the latest pictures we've received here. The mayor says both attacks were carried out by female suicide bombers. Well, this is how events unfolded this morning. The explosions hit two of the busiest interchange stations on the Moscow metro system in the middle of the rush hour. The first blast struck at 7.56 local time on a train which had stopped at the Lubyanka metro station. The headquarters of Russia's Federal Security Service, the FSB, located above that station. Well, reports suggest 25 people were killed, 14 of whom were in the train carriage, 11 waiting on the platform. Around 45 minutes later, at 8.38 local time, another explosion rocked the Park Kulchuri metro station. Well, Sky's Amanda Walker is in the Russian capital. The daily commute shattered by two acts of terror. The attack was designed for maximum impact, affecting those on board and on the platform waiting for the train. The injured emerged dazed and distressed. palpably relieved at being away from the chaos underground. Emergency crews battled their way through rush hour traffic to reach those in desperate need of help. The first information from the FSB is there were two suicide bombers. They have been identified. 32 people have been killed, but that number could be higher and there are around 40 wounded. The Moscow metro is used by 7 million people every day. The sprawling network is one of the deepest in the world. The attacks appear to have been carefully orchestrated, with the first happening beneath the FSB, formerly the KGB headquarters, a short distance from the Kremlin. The second struck 40 minutes later at Park Kulchuri, another packed station in the heart of the city. We must be vigilant. Unfortunately, such actions are always well planned, are designed to kill as many as possible and to destabilize society. This is why the police and security forces must keep people informed and must keep the situation under firm control. In recent years, violence has been mainly contained within the Caucasus region, but last November an explosion on the busy commuter train between Moscow and St. Petersburg was linked to Ingushetian militants. These attacks raised fears that Muslim insurgency in the Caucasus is once again being brought to the heart of Russia. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Moscow.